people I'd like to recognize are the people who handed the legacy of service down to us. 240 years ago, this nation was nothing more than a thought. It was nothing more than a dream in the hearts and minds of men and women who thought it was worth fighting for. And all they had was a freezing winter at Valley Forge, and that was almost two and a half centuries ago. That legacy of service extends from Valley Forge all the way up to this very second. It's been passed down from one generation to the next. So the first group of people I'd like to thank, if you've ever worn this uniform of, of any service, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, National Guard, can I ask you to go ahead and stand for me? Any veterans? Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in thanking them for a round of applause. Since 1775, generations of American men and women have stood forward in times of war and peace and raised their hand and said, send me, I'll go. I will stop those people from trying to hurt us. The next generation of warriors who's going to do that are those young men and women who are sitting in front of me right now. The first question, is it hard? Yes, it's hard. It's hard for a reason. And, and I'm, not, I'm not running for office. I don't, I don't intend to offend you. I'm just going to tell you like it is, okay? So up front, I apologize if this is too direct. But this is the way it is in the world right now. As I stand here and talk to you, there are people in the world who are training to hurt you. People in the world who hate us for no other reason than because we're not them. Because we don't worship like them. We don't think like them. We don't pray like them. We're not from their country. And they're doing everything they can to look for weaknesses because they want to kill us. Now they're going to go meet, that Friday they're going to go meet their new drill instructors that are going to train them for the next 12 weeks. They're going to meet their new mom and dad for the next 12 weeks. Okay, for the females, they're going to do it on Saturday morning. Okay, now, that's a pretty special day for them. Okay, that Friday. And it's so special that we call it Black Friday. Okay, <coughs> drill instructors. All the fundamentals of marksmanship, 
all the weapon safety rules, the weapons conditions, absolutely everything you could possibly imagine about the rifle, they're going to learn it there. And they learn all the shooting positions and they, they actually practice them there. The second week is firing week. Firing week, they spend Monday to Friday, all day every day, shooting that rifle. And the third and final week of second phase is what we call team week. Team week is essentially their first opportunity to show their drill instructors that they're actually learning what we're teaching them. They're gaining that responsibility and that confidence. We send them out in small groups with, with our team leader and they go out and do different jobs all around the base and it's our first time away from the drill instructors without that direct supervision of them. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joe Sartor Sartor. I'm a drill instructor at MCRD San Diego. I was born and raised in Lado, Texas. I'm 26 years old. I have a four-year-old son and I'm married. Today I'll be talking to you a little bit about third phase. Third phase is basically the final test. The first test that they'll be taking is final drill. They will get evaluated as the platoon and grading. The second thing that I will be doing is the prac exam. Every, everything that they learn from first and second phase, they will be tested in, in a 200, 200 question prac test. After that test, they will conduct what's called a, C, a PFT, a physical fitness test. Right after that final physical test, they will, they will take what's called a CFT, a combat fitness test. They will move on to the crucible. The crucible is a three day event. After the crucible, they, they have now earned the title of the United States Marine. Thursday, Thursday is family night. That will be the first time that the loved ones will see, will see their new Marine on a family night. They will, they will have liberty of four hours. They will be able to, they will be able to speak and talk to their families on that liberty day. On that Friday, they will graduate. Graduation goes on at 10 hundred. It lasts till about 11.45. After graduation, they're, they're free to go with their family for 10 days. That pretty much sums up third phase. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. But we're loyal. Okay, and we're honest. So, welcome to the family. Earlier, I mentioned the veterans that handed down their legacy of service to us, like it had been handed down to them from previous generations of warriors. That is a legacy that I take very seriously. My father served. My grandfather served. That legacy of service in my family is something that I was raised with, something that I hope to raise my kids with. Oh,